Hi, welcome to Civil Connection channel. Uh, today we are going to see about uh, AutoCAD. Uh, here uh, array command. Okay. Uh, before that, if you haven't subscribed our channel, you can subscribe it. And if you press the bell button, you can get the notification when I have uploaded the uh, videos. Now I shall open the AutoCAD. Here AutoCAD, uh, in array command, there are three types of array. One it is rectangular array, polar array and the path array. We are going to see about uh, all the three here. Uh, so first uh, rectangular array, where it is used? It is uh, used mostly while drawing uh, staircase. Okay. Uh, so during staircase, you can use uh, a path array or uh, you can use uh, a rectangular array. Okay. So how we are going to take this uh, rectangular array, I shall say. Uh, so here in home tab, you have a toolbar. Uh, that is, uh, you will be having rectangular array here. Okay. Here you can use three commands. Here uh, in this uh, toolbar you can see rectangular array, polar array and path array. It has different uh, uh, toolbars. But while ca using uh, 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 commands you can use array command, array rect, then array polar and array path. There are different uh, commands. Four commands can be used for rectangular. You can use array rect. Uh, for path you can use array polar. Uh, and uh, for uh, uh, path pole uh, array, you can use array path. Uh, but commonly you can use the command array, A R R A Y. That is a common command you can use. So I shall use the array command and uh, follow what is this. Uh, okay. So first array. Okay. You can see here different types of uh, commands here. So for uh, rectangular array, for rectangular array, array R E C T. Okay, that is a command. For array path, it is A R R A Y P A T H array path. And for array polar, it is A R A A R R A Y P O L A R array polar. That is the command. If you need to edit the uh, edit the array, you can use the command array edit. Okay. For uh, closure of uh, array, that is we going to complete the exit. We'll be pressing exit. That is uh, given by array close. Okay, here 3D array, there are different types of array. So now I shall go with the array command. First you need to select the array. So here I am using the staircase, uh, that is star I am going to uh, create using rectangular array. See here, first this is array. I am uh, going to uh, repeat this lines. Going to repeat this lines for 10 times. Okay, so at equal distance. That's what array. Array, what is array? We are going to repeat the same uh, by uh, equal distance. This is array. Enter. So, what is the path it is asking? I am saying can go with rectangular array first. So, I will cho choose rectangular. Okay. Uh, so, base point, you can choose the base point or it may be at the center. So, I shall choose the base point. It is at the end. Okay. Uh, next, count. Count means number of, uh, you are going to use number of lines. Okay. So here may be rows and then there will be a column. Okay. So count I have given number of column. Uh, it is only one because I am going to, uh, I am going to model only in this line. So this is column. Okay. Only one column. And number of rows I shall choose it is 10. Okay. Uh, so count I have given. Then spacing it is asked. Okay. So spacing I shall choose it as uh, spacing between columns. So there is no column. So only one. Uh, so distance, specify the distance between rows. So between rows it is 300. Okay. So again there is some mistake. What I have did it is uh, the array here I have chosen 300 but it is in plus axis. So again I shall choose the spacing. Column it is only one. And spacing it is, I shall choose minus 300. So it will be coming to the portion what we required. Okay. See here. Previously it has been in upwards. Now it is in downwards. The same here column. Uh, if, if you choose here column. Number of columns. And number of. And the spacing will be asked here. Okay. Similarly for rows. Okay. Then levels. Levels if you give number of levels. It is uh, nearly similar to the thickness. If you give level greater than something, the thickness will vary. See, you can see the variation. So, distance between the levels, 
so we previously it is very thin this line and this line are same now level if you choose the level i have given 20 so the thickness of this line has varied okay distance between this levels it may be 1000 i have given 1000 see here how it varies okay this is levels now i shall uh, exit or you can change the level that is one see here you can click cleanly view the thickness will get varied very thin okay so this is uh, array rectangle the same will be processed for rectangle array you can i shall choose uh, array again array rectangle I shall choose this object. I shall give in past two direction, okay? Because uh, to for your reference, so I have chose the object. Uh, the same it is asked to see here. Uh, column spacing, uh, row, level, exit. Okay, this is uh, for uh, rectangle array. I shall give exit. Okay. Now we shall go for polar array. So what does polar array means? Here you can, uh, uh, there is polar array means you can uh, use in a circular manner. That is called polar array. Uh, here you can use polar array polar or I shall use array polar. Okay, the same will be asked when you go for array comments. So polar array, I shall choose this object. Okay, that is uh, when you use this for uh, uh, folks. Okay, I have chosen the uh, array. It is asking for base point or axis or center point of the array. I shall choose the center point of the array as the circle center. Okay. Uh, now it will be asking items. Items means numbers. Here you have given only uh, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6 numbers. Items. You can increase the numbers. If you know the numbers, it is need to be divided. Okay. You can or you can use the angle between. Angle between each and every lines. Okay. Then fill angle, that is whole angle, then rows, then levels, levels already have seen there the same. Then rotate item, which, which, which item you need to, number of items, that will be given. Okay, these are the uh, values. So base point will be always chosen as the center. Here it is the base point, it is the center, this is the center. Okay, now I shall choose uh, uh, angle, that is fill angle. Fill angle it is 360 only. Okay, then uh, angle between, angle between I shall choose it as 45. Okay. Or uh, you can choose items. It may be 10. Okay. These are these values. Uh, so and then... Okay, now we can, like this we can um, write the polar uh, polar arrays. Now I shall exit it. Similarly, for uh, if it is this is the center, but uh, it is the object is at some uh, distance also, the same polar will be continued. Next is path array. Here I have a uh, curve. Okay, with this curve I should I can model this uh, uh, this line with this pattern in this pattern. Uh, it can be in uh, it is, can be normal to this curve normal to this curve or it will be it be dividing this uh, curve into numbers you can use this uh, array path okay array path i am typing this array path okay now we need to select the object to be uh, repeated. So I shall uh, choose this object to be repeated. Enter. And the path, curve path or some uh, curve which you need to get uh, used for dividing. I have chosen this. The same base point method. Method it is uh, you need to divide or measure and divide. So measure, you can use measure. Uh, then here. Uh, tangent direction so tangent direction from this point I shall choose in if you choose in this direction 
will be dividing in this direction if you choose ta if the tangent it is again tangent direction from here to here it will be dividing in this direction that is in which side you are going to divide so i shall choose this direction itself then one more it is tangent that there is a normal direction if you choose normal it will be normal to it normal to the tangent okay now i shall choose this direction okay then uh, items the same specify the distance between the items i shall choose it is 300 numbers gets increased okay uh, specify the number of items so it may be uh, any numbers 15 or 60 or something you can give it as 100 so it will be when you choose this only 100 will be there you can choose again 300 and here maybe 20 the numbers gets in decreased okay uh, then uh, rows levels you know align items you know okay this is our these are the concept here for path okay this is used for spiral stair you can use this for spiral stair okay is a direction if it is is a direction it is uh, if you give no it will change okay uh, these are the concept you are going to use for array com array command uh, thank you for watching this uh, video okay uh, if there is uh, any command you need to specify you can specify it in the comment section if you like this video you can uh, uh, click the thumbs up button if you uh, wish you can share with your friends for more videos thank you